So anyway, there was an NXT show last night. There was. Yeah. Sexy Red was there. You like Sexy Red or are you more of a Glorilla guy? Uh, I was just like, okay. Meg the Stallion? Come on, you got to like Meg. All I know is there were two things that happened. You're a barb. One is that uh, Jordan Grace is challenging Roxanne Perez for the title at the Battleground show, which is a week from Sunday. And uh, there had been a couple of names they were looking at. One actually was uh, Raquel Rodriguez making a return. But uh, they chose Jordan Grace, and she came out as the Knockouts champion. So it is Knockouts champion versus the uh, NXT women's champion. And while I would say that I'm I'm about 95% sure that Roxanne is winning that match, I don't think that uh, anything can be ruled out, including Jordan winning getting a run as the NXT Women's Champion, and Roxanne, upon losing the title, going up to the main roster. Oh, God, please, just I for think, that reason. I think please. that there is a chance that happens, but my uh, my ex- expectation would be that, that Jordan is losing. Now, with that said, it's NXT, and they obviously have some sort of relationship with TNA, and, you know, I I, I know, I know, I know. I do think it's okay for some WWE talent to lose to some TNA talent, and TNA talent loses to some WWE talent. We're not talking main roster. It's NXT, dude. Uh, Roxanne is an NXT champion. She can lose to the TNA champion. The TNA champion can then put over someone else in NXT for the NXT title, and it's all going to be okay. It's not the 70s. So... We'll see what happens, but uh, that was that. And then the other big thing is that we had the debut of Ethan Page, who is no longer with AEW. Now, not only did Ethan Page debut, but they called him. They didn't just call him Ethan Page. He is all ego Ethan Page, which is the gimmick that he used even prior going to AEW. So, you know, you can see one of the things that uh, that Triple H is doing differently from Vince is that uh, he don't care. You want to you wanna come in, he'll use your AW gimmick. I mean, they made no changes to Jade Cargill. I mean, aside from, like, the music. I mean, nothing. So, I'll ego Ethan Page. The fans are chanting Ethan Page. They know who the guy is. I mean, maybe they'll change his name. I mean, they've done yeah. it before. They could drop the all ego. I think would be the thing. Just leave. But the key is, if they're going to drop all ego, why the announcers say it? Like, I think they're going to let him be well, all ego, Ethan Page. I can't remember them saying it. I know he said. No, it the announcers sure. did he, for sure. They did it, and yes. they mentioned. Remember, Vic? They did the thing where Booker cut off Vic Joseph. Wasn't he an AE? And then Page started talking. Booker got in there too. So, you know, to me, it makes sense. And when AEW started, I remember Tony Khan talking about the fact that you know you don't want to just take everybody and own everybody's stuff because then they can't use it later and vice versa. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, as noted, we got uh, the show tonight, AW Dynamite, and then then SmackDown on Friday. And Every time I go somewhere and I come back on... Tuesday, I f- I'm a day behind. I, I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Yeah. Feels like yesterday was Monday. Yeah. Now today is Wednesday. Wednesday. And I'm all, I'm all, whatever. You know what that makes tomorrow, right? Thursday. <laughs> is tomorrow Thursday? And you know what the day is after that? A day off for you. Well, it's never a day off, but Friday does have Nia Jax's Queen of the Ring cer- uh, coronation ceremony. And Cody Can't Rhodes can't wait. Cody Rhodes appears. God, dude, <laughs> that that finish somebody. at King of the Ring, I know. <laughs> where Lyra goes for the sunset flip power bomb, and Nia is supposed to sit on her and squish her, but like Nia loses hold of the top rope and just falls with all of her weight right on Lyra's guts. I'm like, God, bro, it's your finish. It's your finish. Hold onto the ropes. Protect your opponent. You are much larger than she is. Don't hurt somebody. It's like every time I watch a Nia match, there's like something that happens. It's just, 
Uh, Brian, you sound like the guy I'm talking about on this match tonight. Miz. Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh. With, with <laughs> his, his, Huge pop. Grand, you know, Miz is Brian's favorite wrestler. <laughs> Braggers Knights. Start over. Start over. Braggers, Braggers Knights? After a few brags by Miz. A few match. brags? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The match started with body hug tugs. What? Body More. tugs? Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> wow. What kind of show is this? That, that's where you put your arm around the middle and oh, tag. Okay. Trying to tag them around. Tug? You reach around from behind. <laughs> and tug? Brian, stop. Okay. Miz jumps out of the ring to slow down his uh, hurting. <laughs> If you're going to tear this apart, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> no, please, please keep reading it. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today, and don't miss out.